it to Paris, woo! We're a little bit delirious, just had a nap, and it's time for some caffeine. Here's our flat, where we'll be staying the next um, couple weeks. And here's the front door, and here's what you would think would be a closet door. I don't no. know. <laughs> but no, it's our kitchen closet. Equipped with everything a kitchen needs, all in the size. <laughs> Give you the grand tour. Here we are. There's the kitchen. Already stocked up with the important goods. French baguette, and Nutella, and <laughs> French wine. And we had a we had a bit of a mishap already in that we put salt in our coffee <laughs> instead of sugar. Uh oh. So now we're redoing it. There you go. These. Mm mm. Good. Delicious. Marissa, how many suitcases were lining this hallway today? This whole hallway had like 14 suitcases from there all the way down there lining it. The owner of the hotel or of the hotel of the apartment was in awe of the package. <laughs> I think he was a little bit upset about it. He just could not understand. He said it was the first time he's seen that many suitcases come up here ever. Ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kimmy, what happened? I was <laughs> opening the window and this is what happened. <laughs> the curtain fell on your head. <laughs> We're delirious. Delirious. <laughs> So we felt very French today because we were like all the other French women, we had bread sticking out of our purses as we walked along. It's just very French, very French thing to do, have a piece of bread just hanging out of your bag. It's a new accessory here while we're in Paris. Here's our view everyone. Isn't that pretty?